Through the works she created, Ingeborg tried to understand what lay hidden in the future based on the world she was leaving behind. Her works are hard to decipher, vague with references to the past rather than to what might be. Perhaps one should look upon them as a pathfinder to posterity, as attempts to understand and explain, as if she contemplated the world around her through the lens and crystal prism of art. A labyrinth of meaning, assertions and assumptions, rather than a distanced and critical analysis of what might emerge. She admitted, as she grew older and her gaze became more and more diffuse and dreamy, that she lacked a sense of clarity. She, nevertheless, until the very end, tried to articulate what was to come, not without feelings of guilt, as she realised she was part of a generation, an era that a ruin more than it had recreated, probably leaving the land desolated behind. Did she seek reconciliation, forgiveness, hard to determine? Did all these notes lead her anywhere? Drawings, paintings, handwritten quotes from various books, digitally scanned pictures and texts that later was drawn or painted upon, sometimes on undeveloped photo paper that slowly darkened in the bright daylight. Maybe they constituted a springboard, a trampoline from which she imagined a leap over the abyss of uncertainty that, in all its absurdity, would make her capable of articulating what is needed for us as a collective and community, she thought in her solitude, to create a sustainable future. Like the children at the end of Inge Christensen's novel, The Painted Room, A Tale of Mantua, a novel Ingeborg occasionally referred to, walk into Mantegna's frescoes, she perhaps entered and walked around in her own works and notes. Perhaps.